I don't think a fish is going to kind of tend to a shape over another based on the size of the fish. I think it's more about whatever lure you can put into the closest you know, to that structure is going to get you the bigger fish. In Sydney generally, and, and you know, you could probably say this is relevant everywhere, the bigger fish are always more educated, shyer, more cautious. So if, you, if you're landing a foot away from the structure and there's 10 brim under a jetty or 10 brim under a boat, the little ones are going to rush out and be more aggressive. Yep. If you can land it an inch from that structure, the bigger one has a chance to, to get it because they're generally a little more cautious. They'll sit back. Yeah. So I think it's more about getting a lure close in there, which is, tends to be why I'd prefer fishing a plastic because the ability to skip cast them locally fishing here in the harbour, you need to be able to skip cast. You need to be able to cast under jetties a long way yeah. and put it into really small spots where no one else is going to be able to get a lure. Yeah. Everyone can put a lure on the outside poles. And if they're all on the outside poles, happy days. Yeah. But if there's only a couple of fish on the outside poles and there's a whole school of them up under the jetty, you need to be able to get it up under the jetty to be able to get the, get the biggest fish out. What would you take for your second lure? At the moment, yeah. I'd probably take something like a blade, so a small metal blade, and be able to sink it down the, the, the poles. So that's a, a very common technique as it gets cooler here in Sydney. So either fishing yeah. the mooring blocks of moored boats. So as the fish kind of, as it cools down, the fish generally won't be up as high on the boat. So they'll pull down to the mooring bloke or the mooring line. Or likewise, if they're on the jetties on the edge, they'll pull out from kind of being right up on the bank, pulling out to those posts that hold the jetty and fish those poles. So a blade, sink it down there, very, again, small hops off the bottom. And that's been quite successful successful for me, you know, during the cooler months around here. Yeah, so sort of similar to what you were saying with the touch and go technique where it's kind of hit, yeah. hit the bottom and just hop it up. Hit, maybe hit the bottom, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big believer in a blade, like really short, sharp hops. I only really want to be moving a little, like a few inches at a time. Just yeah. get it to vibrate and then go back down. Yeah, okay. And at the moment, Diver's got a couple of offerings, but are you looking at the Steez blade? Is that what you're fishing at the yeah, moment? Yeah, Steez metal vibe, three and a half grams, so the smallest one. Play around with the bigger ones occasionally, but generally in the harbour, you're not fishing more than you know maybe 20 feet, 25 feet max. So yeah. the little one sinks perfect for that kind of depth. Okay. And line class for that size blade? And I fish kind of everything on generally five or six pound liters or a blade I tend to like throwing on, on straight through as well. So five pound straight through. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of structure, you're mostly looking at mooring blocks and pontoons and poles and, and what have you. Um, do you ever, yep. is it ever your go-to to, um, to gum fish reef structure and that sort of thing? Not really. Played around with it the last few years, more so because Jamie keeps beating us all up on the sound pigs. There's not a great deal of that kind of structure in the harbour itself. There's probably more of it in the Hawkesbury, kind of deep, more deep rock walls than kind of reef bottoms, but yeah, I have kind of played around with it more, but I'm much more of a kind of a visual structure kind of fisherman, so I'd much rather cast at something than kind of cast in an open area. Not saying I, I won't do it if that's where the fish are, but if possible, I'd much rather catch them out of structure. 